be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over some hi-hat um, tips and tricks um, in Logic Pro 10.8. Um, let's go ahead and jump right in. Basically, I had this beat that I've been cooking up um, all from scratch here. Just so it's not peaking, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Um, and it just has like a, a synth I really would call that a pad to be honest with you that's a pad um a clap and an 808 so pretty much i have to go ahead and add some hi-hats to it but i'm gonna let you hear what we have so far and then i'm gonna show you some tips and tricks um in logic Pro 10.8 let's go Bet. So pretty much what I would do, um, we're going to start off by going ahead and create a new uh, new track and then go to under instrument. We're going to start with the MIDI and then under instrument, go to quick sampler. All right. Once you do that, you can pretty much drag and drop your hi-hat of choice in here. Uh, once you drop, drag and drop it in, um, you can pretty much come over here and do a save as. And then all your patterns will pull up over here. Or you can load them there by clicking load. I already have a hi-hat um, you know sound in here so we're going to use that for the demonstration purposes and what I would suggest doing is actually click it on the uh, your piano row or you can push P and then go to step sequencer and I always like to step start my hi-hats off like this just because it's pretty simple so I would start off initially just with a uh, every other uh, note here Once you got every other note, what I would then do is go to the 16 steps and go down to 64 steps. And then what you could do is start adding like some variations here. And then this is gonna pretty much be two measures right here. And then this will be the other two measures. And so say if you have an eight bar loop, you could just start off um, and take the loop down to the first two measures so you can get this one. And then after that, we can move on here, you know, and keep on going. So let's just start it off. So let's say we just want to do that. Now, if we want to get a little bit more complicated on this, then we, what we could do is just click on this like little arrow right next to this. And then under here, we have different things we can put on here. So like we have velocity. Instead of gate, I'll just take it down to repeat. Instead of uh, tie, I'll take it down to note. And then we can add some variation. So like repeat, if you click on it and then move up or down, it will make the, uh, the pattern or the note, you know, repeat either one two three four five six seven times or whatever see how i'm moving it up you can see those kind of zoom in so i can do this and then i can also come over here to note and bring one of these down let's check it out now Now let's say if you want to have like a some type of effect with your hi hats where it kind of seems like it's fading out. It's pretty simple. Just go ahead and make like three of these guys right here, and then with velocity you want to just kind of take these down and like so. You can even mess around with the notes. You can come over here and play around with um, the repeat. Let's check it out now. And then of course you can come over here and now move to the second part of this. You want to come over here now, click on that, and you can do the same thing over here. And 
and then you could start all over or you could just come over here and then just say command R and that doubles it over here and then you can make the adjustments like so. I'm gonna make sure you click back over onto this first one because now we're over in this section. We're gonna be working with measure five and seven or five and six, excuse me. Switch back over here. And then pretty much when you put it all together, you got this. You wanna make changes, come back to the section you wanna make changes on. Pretty much it's all up to your creativity. After you get done right here, you can just push Control, Option, Command, and push the letter M. That's gonna convert it to MIDI. You can push Control or Command J, that's gonna join it. And if you want, you can go further in here and do some cool little stuff as well. Clicking this guy right here, that's your automation, or not your automation, but that's gonna be like for you can access your note velocity and stuff like that. If you wanna ever mess around with that, you can. You can come over here. And draw like a little line on some of these let's see what it sounds like now And if you don't like anything, you can always make changes. Anyway, y'all, that's going to be today's video. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Also, visit my website. If you want to go a little bit further than the videos here on the channel, I got courses that have full curriculums, you know, hours of content in each course. You also can go head over to the sound kits, all royalty free, all original. You know what I'm saying? It's some exclusive sounds, claps, hi hats, hi, ro hi hat rolls, a lot of stuff in all those kits. Check that stuff out. And I got mixing templates there as well. Go to, website, go to the website, beatmakingbasics.com, or click in the description below, and check out what we got going on over there, man. Other than that, man, appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. We're out.